Hey everyone and welcome back to the Hyper Friends today with another FAQ. Um, so I put, as you saw in the interviews, I've postponed the FAQs a bit. So I um, now st starting with uh, with the lighter topic. And today I want to answer the question: Is there any learning materials or are there any exams on the Microsoft Hybrid Story, especially for HCI? Um, first, yes, there is. There's not much of material out there, but if we're looking into the official guidance, so there is an Azure Stack HCI Foundation where you get a lot of information about the product line introduction, which is important as we have under the Azure Stack brand, Hub, HCI, and Edge, so you will learn what's the, what the, what's that is. They check core technologies, plan and deploy, and how to integrate into Arc. So that's basically what you need to know in the first place. And that's also the framework Bernhard and Karsten build their deployment guides on, and also the building the new deployment guides on for 23H2. Then many people are asking, if is there any exam I can prepare for to learn all that stuff? Yes, there is. There is the AZ800 Administrating Windows Server Hybrid Core Infrastructure, which means you will learn a lot about how you need to build identity, how you how Arc works, how the Kubernetes stuff works, how to build it, how to operate, how to synchronize things. But it's more focused on Windows Server and on the whole hybrid portfolio we have in Azure. And then you have the advanced services for hybrid, which goes deeper into migration, monitoring, backup, disaster recovery, everything with Windows uh, Windows Server in mind, running in a hybrid env environment, and also a bit of um, HCI now. And that's basically everything you you have will need workload related and getting your environment up and running. To prepare for those exams, I normally recommend the study guides of Thomas Mauro. So, you know, everyone knows Thomas, I think. Um, and as I know him personally, I really also recommend those guides. Um, Thomas is doing an amazing job here, collecting all this information, putting in everything together, giving an explanation on what resources you have, what what lab kits environments you have, what you should read from a documentation perspective. Etc. and giving a lot of recommendations. So that's for the 800 and that's for the 801. So really go through that guides when you're preparing for the exams. Go through the learning best practices for the foundation if you're starting from scratch. And a very important thing I could recommend, especially when if you're an enterprise and you have a bit budget left, work with a partner. Work with a partner like, like Akutech, who was on the channel with Net Company, with Aptis in Germany, with Carsten Rachfa, with um, with Manfred Halber, uh, with with Daryl. So everyone who is who is there in the hybrid space. If you want to deploy your first cluster, if you're really coming from VMware, if you're coming from from never heard about hyper converged, uh, then. I would recommend to do your first project with a partner, learn from them, with them, or also go to fast track team and work uh, work with with the team there, and 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 don't try to do it on your own if you are if you're not coming from storage spaces direct Hyper V or any Azure experience. You need to have those and get you get get help. So that's that's basically what what I wanted to say. So there are resources out there to set the baseline. It's also what we use in the fast work Kickstarter program. But if you're new to the topic, try to work with a partner, try to work with the free Microsoft program like the fast track for Azure program to get you onboarded to the first cluster, to give you some hand holding on that stuff and and yeah, discuss questions, issues you may have and you may encounter to start to have a proper jump start to all that stuff. 
So it's basically it for today. I don't have more to discuss for now. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and feel free to leave comments, subscribe to the channel and yeah, more or less get more interaction with us so that we can create more, more content for you. So that's all. Have a great day. Bye.